wet filament? Hi, it's Chris, and today I'm going to talk about 3D printer filament drying boxes and storage boxes and why you should care. I got an upgrade from my Prusa printer that allows you to print five different colors at the same time. And I just had all the spools out on the side here. I've been leaving the filament out because it's such a pain to load the filament through this box in the back here. I've since learned that leaving the filament out is not a good idea. So two things made me realize that I had a problem with my filament. I don't know if you can see this, but I started getting little bubbles in the extrusion when I was trying to print this. And the bubbles were so bad, I got some browning going on and some other pieces just not sticking well. Uh, the quality of the print looks terrible. And also the barcode wouldn't read. Then I also found out uh, I was making these battery clips for the Ryobi. And you know, these are pretty strong. You know, you can flex them and I have no problem. But on this one particular batch, as soon as I flexed them, they cracked right off. What happens is when it gets moisture in it, the material gets very brittle and it just snaps off instead of bending like it normally does. You ever notice that when you get filament delivered, it's all as vacuum wrapped and there's usually a bag of silica gel inside. This one's from Prusa Mint. This one's from Overture. Sometimes they're reusable bags, sometimes they're not. The reason they do this is because the filament will start um, absorbing moisture as soon as you open the packet. And that causes problems because the moisture uh, comes out of steam bubbles in the filament in the uh, extrusion nozzle. Once your filament absorbs moisture, you have to dry it out somehow. And uh, Sunlu makes a, a filament dryer that you just open up and put the filament in it. It can also be a dispenser. There's a hole for the filament to come out on it. It has an LCD interface where you can specify the temperature that you want it to dry out and how long you want it to run. What it's missing is that it'd be really nice if it had one of these humidity temperature sensors built in in the cover here somewhere uh, so you could see how it's working. And the other thing is that you really want to be able to put desiccant in here because once you turn it off, it slowly leaks and moisture gets back into the box. So I've been putting desiccant inside the spools. The Prusa multimedia kit came with five of these trays that have these bearing rollers that you can put your filament on. And then there's a little hole here where you can guide it out. The problem is once you dry out your filament, you want to keep it dry. So we really want to turn this into some kind of storage box. So what I did is I filled the tray here with some this desiccant that turns from orange to green once it gets moist. And I designed a 3D printable cover that goes on the tray. You put your real dried filament in here, then the cover goes on top. And in this case, there's a hole here where the filament comes out. I've installed a humidity and temperature sensor in the cover. And I also made sort of a see-through window here so you can see what color filament you have loaded. Because of the print volume of my Prusa printer, I couldn't make the cover big enough to fit all the way down to the table. So I ended up putting these legs in here that sit on this edge of the tray. And that makes it high enough that the top of the reels that I have don't hit the cover. Here you can see one box that has the desiccant on the right and the other one that doesn't have it on the left. Well, this was my first attempt where I used a single wall spiral vase mode. I was hoping so I could make it really clear and see through, but as you can see the filament sagged all the way around so that didn't work. Then uh, my second attempt, I uh, did a double wall and it did better but still has a bunch of sags. So my final design, I went with four walls. So you can see the viewing window, the window for the temperature humidity sensor, the place for the filament to go out, and then there's four stops to rest on the tray that came with the Prusa. The quality difference between the dried and the wet filament is just absolutely amazing. You can see on the left here, this is the filament that had moisture in it. It's got blob, burn blobs and very 
unclear text and you move over to the dry filament how much sharper it is absolutely amazing here's the setup that I currently have I have three of my boxes that I designed for just keeping things dry with desiccate and then I have two of the Sunlu heated dryers well after seeing the difference between the dried and the wet filament I would definitely go ahead and get a uh, heated dryer box and uh, use the silica drying boxes. I've put my design up on Thingiverse. So if you like this project, hit like and subscribe. Thanks. Have a great night.